Hi, this is Lisa from, from With Coping With Yarn, and I, today I am going to talk about uh, dolls. So this is day three of 100 days of Halloween, and it's also a countdown to Neva with Manic Mama Musings, um, to her anniversary as well. And so I do movie reviews. I will be doing movie reviews every day until then. Um, okay, so Dolls is the movie that I read or that I watched. And this, I was so, so excited to see this movie. Um, oh, I just forgot where I saw it on. I think it was Tubi. But um, I'll I'll put right there wherever I saw it at, um, and the description box down below. Um, but oh, I've been waiting for this movie to be free forever. Uh, I finally found it. This is my childhood. Well, I mean, I guess I was thirteen. Um, horror movie that me and my best friend we we, we used to watch this and laugh and laugh. And, um, we would also, uh, like mimic the dolls in the movie. Um, okay. So let me tell you what it's about. All right. So it's about, well, it was made in 1987 and it's a horror movie, uh, slash fantasy. And it's directed by Stuart Gordon and Carolyn Purdy. And Ian Williams are the actors in it, or a few of the actors. And it's about a group of motorists, uh, including a young Carrie Lorraine. She also played in Poltergeist, too. Um, and her horrible father and the, her evil stepmother. <laughs> um and a meek businessman named Ralph and, uh, and, and two hitchhikers that he had picked up on the way. They all uh, are stuck in a big uh, nighttime uh, thunderstorm. And I think this was in England. Um, and so the owners, okay, so they get stuck and they find themselves a spooky mansion. And the owners invite them to spend the night. Little did they know that they were going to die. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, okay. So this movie is not scary at all. Like it's not, it's so funny. It's so funny. Um, like it's not, I don't know. It's not scary. Okay. Uh, When they spend the night, the man they find out that the mansion is filled with beautifully detailed dolls, um, and even like little soldier men and all these guys, and um, that kill anyone. Okay, so they don't kill everybody. They only kill people that are disrespectful to them, the dolls themselves. You know, like if someone knocks them off the shelf or whatever, or if they disrespect the people that they like, like their owners or, you know, like a little kid, people being mean to, um, a little kid, the little kid that was there. Um, so they're very protective, but oh, there's this punch doll in there and it's so funny. He, when they talk and he goes, you know, Ralph, you know, deep down inside, you know. And that's the one thing that uh, me and my best friend used to say all the time to each other. <laughs> you know, Ralph. And so, um, I don't know. This just brings back a lot of childhood memories. Um, fun times. Uh, I really like the old-fashioned scary movies. Like, it just brings back memories. Like, I'm hoping to see Nightmare on Elm Street and Pet Cemetery. Um just, you know, it's just what I saw when I was a teenager and younger. <laughs> uh, and like, 
a child's play and all that. Like, I, I'm really hoping to find those movies that I used to watch in the 80s and 90s. That's what I'm hoping. And, and I'll see a, a, a few new ones along the way. Um, and probably a few remakes. And I can compare, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's that. So while I was watching this movie... I told you that I was going to make, start working on a guinea pig, um, and specifically um, Marigold. I'm making Marigold for Hannah, and then I'm going to put like a Halloween type of hat on him for, oh yeah, so during this 100 Days of Halloween, some people are doing Halloween facts or, you know, spooky facts or, or just whatever, some kind of facts, and crocheting Halloween stuff and some people are watching movies and I'm doing reviews and makes so here's the guinea pig so far his wait yeah his little ears and his little uh, I haven't put his nose or his eyes on yet but that's his coloring even a little white belly and patches and I made sure to make a white foot and a brown foot because he has a white foot and a brown foot and uh, the back in two white feet in the back. Um, but that's that so far. Um, yeah. So I'll see ya tomorrow. And if I do miss a day, like when I go back to work, um, and then I might have to do like a couple of days of reviews together. We'll just see. We'll just see how it goes. It's easier just to do it every day. So you don't get behind, but We'll see. Okay. Bye and be good.